Oh. So on top of that, we went to New York with the play. So what was that experience like? Okay. Because I know there's so much we have to get through of your entire career, but okay. But and Maggie and Pierre in New York. So at this time, my parents had been waiting to tell me that my mother had cancer. And they were waiting because they knew the show was a huge, it was a joy and a burden, you know, mm -hmm. and that it took all of me to do it. And so they'd been waiting until the show closed. But every time it was about to close, there was another gig, you know, like finished in Toronto and then, the, then there was the Royal Alex. So mm -hmm. it finally told me after the Royal Alex was over that my mom had cancer and she wasn't expected to live. And then we were booked to play off-Broadway in New York. And all I could think of was that I would be stuck in a contract where I wouldn't be able to go to my mother's bedside. Mm -hmm. And so part of me didn't want it to work. Then I mm -hmm. thought, oh God, if it works, yeah. I'll have to do it forever. I didn't understand, I d or I wasn't willing to make the trade, mm -hmm. or I didn't understand myself enough to know that okay, if you do that, then you're into some territory that you can never get to otherwise. Mm -hmm. well, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And so when they suggested that someone else play the part of Henry the journalist, I said yes, partly because it was mm -hmm. burden off me. And really, it wasn't the right choice. Mm -hmm. And Eric Peterson ended up playing Henry. Mm -hmm. And, you know, at that time, there was less of a Canadian invasion. And they could only see Maggie and Pierre in terms of a star rating. As if I was saying, these are stars. Right. And our stars could never be as big as their stars, ever. So it was, first of all, there was someone else playing, playing uh, Henry, and that was wrong. Mm -hmm. We opened at the Phoenix Theater, and I didn't even understand that the critics came to the previews. I didn't know that. So, and I wasn't doing it very well. And I think that my mom, who eventually had a remission for 25 years, mm -hmm. but what was happening with my mom was huge, and I just didn't want to do it anymore. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, what, I didn't understand, or I wasn't willing to make the trade-off. Mm -hmm. And this sort of girl who used to wear just boots and jeans and whatever, all of a sudden was wearing nice clothes and going off to places in New York, and the sort of fun of Maggie turning me into that person was mm -hmm. lost. Anyway, I finally did a good open night performance, but they'd all seen it. Mm -hmm. And the only, it was a trashing. Mm -hmm. And here's, you can understand this, which has never happened before or since. This is the level of the play. The Globe and Mail published the New York Times review verbatim. <laughs> okay. And the first line of the New York Times review was, poor Canada. Me. Mm -hmm. I was poor Canada. Mm -hmm. And they really took it out on, we, these flimsy people are not interesting, and we have interesting people, but you know, and the only person that actually loved it was Frank Rich, who was no longer with the New York Times. Right. So it was trashed, mm -hmm. except for this one review. They didn't understand it. They didn't know. They didn't want to understand it. Mm -hmm. It wasn't engaging. Who did I think I was right. coming in thinking I was a star? It's all of a sudden this whole star thing was, mm -hmm. you know. And so that, that was, I was, I didn't want to come back to Canada. I was so, again, this is shaming. Mm -hmm. Poor Canada, and you represent Canada, and you've just let down everyone. And so, mm -hmm. and the colonial thinking meant that it wasn't really that good. Right. We thought it was good, but if they didn't think it was good, then it, it wasn't, wasn't that good. Right, right. And, like, I was thinking of ways not to come back to Canada. When I got an audition, someone who knew me, um, John Sales, who was doing a movie, had lost his leading person for this title role. Mm -hmm. And a friend who'd spent time in Canada who knew him said, well, what about her? And what I didn't realize was that, in a way, there's no such thing as bad publicity because in the New York Times was a huge honking picture of me. Mm -hmm. They came and saw the show mm -hmm. and I auditioned and I got the part. And I never went back 
to Toronto after um, after the uh, the closing Pierre. of Maggie and Pierre. I went right to Hoboken and ended up doing the lead role with one of the most interesting independent uh, filmmakers in the states. Okay, so and that was that was the whole stream of it. So. Mm -hmm. In a way, I got out of Maggie and Pierre mm -hmm. and got a chance to do film, which no one had cast me in, in, in Canada, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And ended up doing this leading part. And I saw it. It was amazing, but it also was, uh, it must have been groundbreaking at the time, right? Mm -hmm. Tell us about the film. Well, it was the story of a, of a, uh, a housewife who's, uh, who's uh, uh, um, married to someone who teaches film in a small university town mm -hmm. who realizes she's gay and has an affair Huge. and breaks up her her marriage and at the time that would be you know, yeah yeah massive. and it was just uh, and I, I shot every day mm -hmm. and I remember them tell it them uh, afterwards they said when we looked at the schedule realizing you had to work every day mm -hmm. we thought she's gonna crack sometime and I did I, I, I cracked around the um, sex scene right Okay. Because all I could think of was the last thing my mother would see was me going down on a woman. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, no, 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 no. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny. I'm you know, sorry. it is. Mm -hmm. But it's like, oh God. And um, and John Sales was fabulous. Mm -hmm. And everyone, include myself included, expected me to take which was probably the best entrance of a Canadian actor into the American film thing that any actor, yeah. including Molly Parker and all these yeah. great gals. Mm -hmm. And I spent the next four years pretending I was moving to the States and really? secretly mm -hmm. writing plays. Right, okay. Oh yes, the name of the movie was... Is Liana. Liana, that's yeah. right. So, so, that's, so John sales Liana and I was mm -hmm. Liana. Mm -hmm. 